Today there are those whom the Bible labels as antichrist who would say that Christianity is just an adaptation of earlier religious practices, just one more version of paganism. But that is not the case. True Christianity, the faith of the first century believers that walked and talked with Christ, has nothing in common with the worship of pagan gods and goddesses. It is the faith practiced all throughout what we would call the Old Testament, with one exception. There's been a change in the priesthood from the order of Aaron to the order of Melchizedek. The priestly order of Aaron was primarily associated with continuous sacrifice. Jesus, a priest after the order of Melchizedek, offered himself up once and for all. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctify it to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Jesus Christ was the ultimate sinless sacrifice that would usher in an eternal priesthood a better covenant established upon better promises. The book of Hebrews defines that covenant. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. As we see, the new covenant has nothing to do with the abrogation of the law. It is just the opposite. It has to do with writing those laws on our hearts and minds in order that by the power of the Holy Spirit we can live according to the will of our Creator. The definition of the new covenant comes with a strong warning. If we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment, suppose ye, shall he be thought worthy, who hath trodden underfoot the Son of God, and hath counted the blood of the covenant, wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing, and hath done despite unto the Spirit of grace? For we know him that is said, Vengeance belongeth to me, I will recompense, saith the Lord. The transgression of our Creator's Ten Commandments was never a part of the New Covenant. As the passage in the book of Hebrews concludes, the Lord shall judge His people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Earnestly contending for the faith once delivered to the saints, I'm Richard Reeves with Just the Facts.